well-known poet and playwright Oscar Wilde has said, to love oneself is the beginning of a lifelong romance. And nothing emphasizes self-love more than self-care and self-nurturing. Hi, I'm Vandana and as a holistic therapist, I'm always very mindful about my self-care. So what I've brought to you today is a simple routine that you can add to your self-care daily. And this goes beyond a foot and a facial massage. I'm referring to reflexology. Reflexology is a holistic therapy that not only has a positive influence on your physical body, but also your mental, emotional and energy body. So we could do two routines, one that you can do at the start of the day to bring fresh energy and uh, revitalize you, to bring you, to set the tone to the day and one with foot reflexology at the end of the day uh, to help you wind down and sleep, uh, have a more restful sleep. However, you can do these routines at any point in, uh, in the day that's convenient for you. So the morning routine is a facial reflexology routine and uh, facial reflexology has its roots in traditional Chinese medicine and also brings the modern science of neurology. So it's like getting acupuncture but without needles. Now when we're doing the routine on the face, you can either choose to put some moisturizer or some face oil, whatever is uh, something that you use, or if you prefer not to use anything, that's fine also. So let's begin. The facial uh, reflexology routine that I'm going to share um, is about stimulating our physical body, doing a hormonal balance, and also just to calm ourselves but yet tone our body. All right. So let's begin. This is how the head is, our physical body is represented on the face. Okay. So I'm just going to highlight the areas before we start. This is the head, and these. The, eye, the eyebrow bone is basically our arms, our shoulder and our arms. This is the entire spinal area, the lower leg, knee and the upper leg. All right. So let's begin. You can either choose to use two fingers and stimulate the head or you can also just go in a circular motion and then go the other way. All right. So I'm just going to, I prefer using the two fingers to stimulate and then just holding one finger here to give a little more stretch to the skin. You're now going to walk your way down. This is the neck. And that's your upper back. Coming down to the mid back. Lower back. And the tailbone. Alright. And then we go up to the shoulder, arms, and the hands, the feet, followed by the lower leg, going into the knee area that goes right in here, and then the upper leg. And if you go in here, that's the pelvic area, all right? So let's massage it again a couple of times. In the head, you can go up and down the spine. You can even go by the side, especially here. That's the side of the that's the side of the neck, shoulder, the brow bone is the arm, like I mentioned earlier. And these are your hands feet, legs, knees, and the upper leg. And you can go into this groove here. Okay. Next, we're going to do a quick hormonal balance on the face. So we're going to follow the midline, starting at the center here. We will go around six to eight times in one direction and then the other. Then one finger down. Middle of the forehead again. Slightly lower. between the eyebrows. 
eyebrows. Just below the bridge of the nose. And then come right to the tip of the nose. was a quick hormonal balance. Next I'm going to show you some nerve point sequences. The first one is to help improve immunity or keep our immunity strong. Okay, I think we all could benefit with that. So we're always going to be doing these sequences by rubbing on the sides of the ears. You can stimulate each point around six to eight times or even more. There's no um, you know, fixed uh, rule on how many times you can stimulate but six to eight is uh, an average time. So we rub here on the sides of the ears, come a little higher, either side of the nostrils, it's slightly higher. This is the point we tend to touch when we're feeling blocked in our sinuses, but this is a good point. And then on the right side of the face, under the cheekbone in the center, left side in the center, but in line with the nostril. The crease of the mouth come in a little bit under the nostrils the crease of the chin and here at the end of the crease of the chin and wrap here the next simple sequence is to actually just calm your uh, your mind and your body down okay so it's it's nice to start at a uh, with a mindful state of uh, mind at the at the start of the day all right so this is, in fact this particular sequence that I'm showing now you can even do at the end of the day to have more restful sleep so this is on the forehead pretty much at the center of the eyebrows and up here and then at the beginning of both the eyebrows at this little dip here and then in the middle. And then here. As simple as that. That was what we can call it as relaxation point. So anytime you're feeling anxious or you want to just calm your nerves down, that's a great way, a great sequence to do. The next one is to tone up the body, to give you energy. So this one definitely needs to be done at the start of the day because if you do it towards the night, you might just not have a very um, calm, restful night. Okay, so start rubbing here and then on the chin. Now, this particular point that I'm going to stimulate, pregnant ladies, please do not do this point. So everybody else can follow it. This is not the tip of the nose, the base of the nose. And then midway on the nasal bone. Again, between the eyebrows, center of the forehead, and then near the hairline. And then take your index finger and just go horizontally under the ear lobe. And then finish up here. So that was the facial reflexology routine that you can do at the start of the day for fresh energy and feeling revitalized. Now I'm going to share, I'm going to focus on my feet and we're going to do a short routine uh, on the feet, which you can of course do at any point of time in the day, uh, but it's a great way to wind down, right? And have it added to your bedtime routine. With the foot reflexology, I would highly recommend use either some lotion, oil or cream to um, moisturize the skin of your feet. All right, so we will start by actually uh, stimulating the spinal area. I like to call the foot, refle uh, foot reflexology like an internal massage of the body, okay? So I'm gonna highlight the spinal area on the feet. We start with the first joint of the big toe and this is the big bone here. So this is your entire neck and I'm actually touching the bony part here. Yeah? So I'm not on the side here, I'm on top. Follow, just follow the line. So this, this is the neck and then this becomes the upper back or thoracic. Keep going down 
and then this is your lumbar or lower back keep going down that's the sacrum and the tail all right so i'm going to highlight it again and we're just going to use a simple movement with our thumb thumb provides good pressure so um, just go down on the bone follow downwards and it doesn't matter which direction you're moving in okay keep massaging that come down to the lumbar sacrum and coccyx again i'm just going to travel from down and up now and wherever you feel a little tension you can use this part also of your thumb to provide some great a better pressure okay let's take that over to the next foot that's the neck followed by the upper back mid back and and just following the bony part directly okay that's the lumbar sacrum and the tailbone again you can travel up and down okay then we will just relax certain points to calm our nerves down for the night you take your index finger and place it at the middle of your big toe. This is your pituitary gland, the master gland, which tends to get quite stressed when we are, um, you know, busy through the whole day. You will find it a little tender. The pituitary gland is your master gland that actually has an influence on all your hormonal glands. So once you find that, the easiest way is put your index finger here and come down. And you can sit here. So you can either hold that particular point once you found it for around um, 30 seconds to a minute. And then just drop your index finger to the side. Just travel slightly out. You're still at the uh, on your on your toe pad, but you're more on this part. This is where it is. Okay. You're gonna again find this is actually your pineal gland that is your body clock and will help you sleep well so once you find that point i would highly recommend hold it for a minute and the next gland that will that we will work on is the adrenal glands perfect one to work at the end of the day the easiest way to find your adrenal gland there are two ways actually i'm going to show you one is take your thumb and just travel up until you reach this little dip here okay that's one way the other is um, you take your thumb and you walk from the outside of your foot be mindful of the tendon so just don't stretch your foot so much that the tendon sticks out or even if you are then be mindful of the pressure on the tendon and you will automatically land up here at that little dip okay and just hold again for a minute. You're going to find this point a bit tender if you've been stressed through the day. And you will do the same thing on the other foot. Either find it this way or come from down and hold. Now you could even do the adrenal glands while you're working on both your feet, okay? So you can sort of just find this little spot here and hold, all right? So that's another way of doing it. And lastly, what we're gonna do is we're going to ease off our entire diaphragm muscle, all right? Which is right here uh, at the end of the ball of the foot. And we're just gonna walk under it. 
This will help you with your breathing. Do that a couple of times. And then just go into that little space between your uh, big, big toe ball of the area here and the center here. That's the solar plexus. The solar plexus hold is very, very relaxing. In fact, just close your eyes and enjoy it. And in fact, take a few deep breaths in. Inhale nicely. And exhale. Let's do that on the other foot. It's because of the camera, I mean, I have to sort of divide working between my feet. Otherwise, I could easily, we could just easily sit and work on both the feet at the same time with the hand, okay? And then get into the solar plexus and hold and take a nice deep breath in. And sigh out any tension that you have gathered through the day. Let's do the solar plexus hold with both feet at the same time. It's really, really very calming. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. And again, let's take a nice deep breath in. And release. Okay. Just gonna moisturize my feet a little more. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this routine and it has inspired you to um, add it to your daily uh, self-care. And uh, always remember with everything, we, we need to have a consistent effort put in to start seeing results. So give it a try and uh, we would love to know um, your feedback on how it has helped you feel energized at the start of the day and relaxed at the end of the day. Take care of yourself and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Bye.